Welcome back. La 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 Crayon, please. Here you go, Paula. Thanks. Hey, guys, check this out. Hi, Tim. Hi, Cal. Oh, that's a nice plant. Not the plant, Billy. The stick insect. Everyone, meet my new pet, Twiggy. Isn't he awesome? Come on, Tim. We all know that's just a normal twig. Are you trying to trick us? No, I'm not. Twiggy's a stick insect. Look! He's moving. Oh, wow! Twiggy is so cool. He looks just like a branch. Where did you get Twiggy, Tim? I found Twiggy in a bush behind my house. Cool. What does Twiggy eat? Um, how big can Twiggy grow? Uh, does Twiggy do any tricks? How many legs does Twiggy have? Oh, maybe the numbers can help us find out. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's count the number of legs Twiggy has. One, One two, three, four, five, six. Twiggy has six legs. That's awesome. Okay, Twiggy. It's time to go back home now. Wow. Twiggy blends in with the plant. He looks invisible. That's because Twiggy is brown, just like the branches. Twiggy would be really good at a game of hide and seek, Paula. Yeah, especially in a place with lots of brown twigs and branches. Like the jungle. How about going to the jungle to play hide and seek with Twiggy now? Play hide and seek with Twiggy in the jungle? Awesome idea, Tim. Let's go to the jungle. Okay, guys. We can team up and take turns hiding Twiggy. Once Twiggy is hidden, the others have to find where he is. Would you like to team up with me, Calc? Hello, children. What are you doing? Hello, Mr. Totem Head. We're playing hide-and-seek with Tim's new pet, Twiggy, the stick insect. Oh, wow. You have a stick insect? Can I play, too? Sure, Mr. Totem Head. You can team up with Chalky. Yippee! Here you go, Paula. You and Billy can hide Twiggy first. Close your eyes, everyone. What about this blue flower, Paula? Is it a good place to hide Twiggy? I don't think so, Billy. You can see Twiggy very clearly on the flower. Okay. How about this gray rock? That's not great either, Billy. We can still see Twiggy on the rock. Hmm. I think we need to find a place that matches the color of Twiggy so that he can become invisible. Twiggy is brown. So to hide Twiggy, We'll need to find a place that's brown. Aha! This tree trunk is brown. Wow! Twiggy blends in so well with the tree trunk. He looks invisible. Okay, guys. You can open your eyes and look for Twiggy now. Ready or not, here we come, Twiggy. Let's search over there, Chalky. Maybe Twiggy is hiding here, Calc. Oh, hi, Mr. Explorer. 
What are you looking for? Uh, hello there. I'm looking for some talking totem heads to capture and bring back home. Are you one of them? No, I'm not a talking totem head. Um, I gotta go now. Good luck with your search. Come on, Calc. We've got to warn Mr. Totem Head. Twiggy is somewhere nearby, isn't he? Is he under these leaves? Nope, he's not here. <laughs> Keep searching. Guys, guys, Mr. Explorer is here, and he's looking to capture talking totem heads. Oh, no, I don't want to get captured. Can you hide me, children? Don't worry. We'll do our best, Mr. Totem Head. going to hide Mr. Totem Head. I know. We can dig a hole and bury him in the ground. Mm, that may take too long. What if I hide in these veins? I can still see you, Mr. Totem Head. <sighs> what are we going to do, children? Maybe Twiggy can help us. Has anyone found him? He's right beside you, Tim. Where? I don't see him. There, on the tree trunk. Oh, hi, Twiggy. I didn't see you there. You look invisible on the tree trunk. That gives me an idea, Tim. To hide Mr. Totem Head, we'll have to make him invisible like Twiggy. That means we'll have to find a place that matches the color of Mr. Totem Head. How about this green plant? Hmm. Mr. Totem Head isn't blending in with the green plant. I can still see him. He's too colorful. There's no way we'll find a place in the jungle that's as colorful as Mr. Totem Head. Well, if we can't change the place, then we'll change Mr. Totem Head. Mr. Totem Head, can you stand in front of the tree trunk, please? Great. Now all we have to do is make Mr. Totem Head brown, like the color of the tree trunk. I know. Let's use dirt. The dirt on the ground is brown. Good one, Tim. Come on, everyone. Let's cover Mr. Totem Head with brown dirt. Oh, dear. The dirt from the ground isn't really the same brown as the tree trunk. We can still see Mr. Totem Head. Oh, no. I'm not invisible yet. What else can we do? Maybe. We can make Mr. Totem Head green to match that bush. Yeah, we can stick green leaves on him. Okay, Tim, but we really need to hurry. Mr. Explorer could be here any moment. Hello, children. Uh, oh, my. Have you seen any talking totem heads? Um, no talking totem heads here, Mr. Explorer. Are you sure? It's you. Bless you. Thank you. Yep, no talking totem heads here. Just a bush and us children. Oh, well, that's too bad. All right, my search continues. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Explorer. Explorer. Phew, that was close. <sighs> that's right, Billy. Number of the day. day. Six stick insects! Six totem heads! Dance with Cal! Did you have fun today, Twiggy? Are you tired? Would you like something to eat? Um, Paula, do you think Tim knows that he's just talking to a normal twig? It's okay, Billy. We can tell him later.
<laughs> Do join us on our next adventure. Check out my new cuckoo clock. Isn't it awesome? Hey, guys. What's that? Hi, Tim. Hi, Calc. I was just showing Billy and Chalky my new cuckoo clock. Ooh. What's a cuckoo clock, Paula? It's a regular clock, but with something special inside. See this door? A cuckoo will pop out of it every hour. That's cool. Um, what's a cuckoo? I don't know, but we'll be able to find out when the cuckoo comes out. Will it be coming out soon, Paula? Let's check the time. The short hand is at number three, and the long hand is close to number 12. Does that mean it's almost three o'clock? That's right, Billy. The cuckoo will come out at three o'clock when the long hand reaches the number 12. And then we'll find out what a cuckoo is. Oh, what's taking so long? It feels like we've been waiting for hours. Um, guys, look at the clock on the wall. The short hand is at number three. And the long hand is at number one. That's five minutes past three o'clock. Why is the time on the cuckoo clock different? Yeah, if it's already past three o'clock, then the cuckoo should have come out by now. Maybe the cuckoo is trapped inside because the clock is spoiled. No, it can't be spoiled. It's new. Maybe it just needs new batteries. Paula, you didn't put in any batteries. No wonder the clock isn't working. Oops. <laughs> Cal, could you help me get some new batteries, please? Thanks, Cal. Let's put the batteries in, guys. How many batteries do we put in? The numbers can help us find out how many batteries the cuckoo clock needs. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, everyone, let's count the number of batteries the cuckoo clock needs to work again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The cuckoo clock needs eight batteries. Now let's see if it works. Um, guys, the long hand on that clock is now at number two, but the hands on the cuckoo clock haven't moved at all. Oh man, it still isn't working. We're never going to find out what a cuckoo is. Yes, we are. We can ask Mr. Mechanic to help us fix the cuckoo clock. Oh, yeah. Great idea, Paula. I can't wait to find out what a cuckoo is. I think it's a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Mr. Mechanic in the desert to fix the cuckoo clock. Hello, Mr. Mechanic. Our cuckoo clock isn't working, and we don't know why. Can you help us fix it? Let me take a look. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, no. Uh, aha! You fixed it already, Mr. Mechanic? Yeah! We get to see the cuckoo soon! It's probably a cool robot! Maybe it's a soft kitty cat. Or a lion, like you, Billy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you children are so adorable. But it is not fixed yet. One of the gears in the clock is broken. I might have a replacement gear on the table over there. Here, see if you children can find a gear that looks like this one. Does anyone see the right gear? The ones here are too small, and the ones over here are too big. How about the gears over here, Paula? Yes, they're the same size. Well done, Tim. But the gears look like they have different numbers of teeth. Hmm, we can count the teeth to check if they're the same. Let's see. The broken gear has one, two, three, four, five teeth. And this gear has one, two, three, four, 
five, six teeth. So it's the wrong one. What about this one? Oh, it has too many teeth. Mr. Mechanic, we couldn't find a gear that's the same as the broken one. Hold on a second, children. Oh, that's great, brother. Thank you. Don't look so sad, children. My brother, Mr. Merchant, has the right gear. But you have to meet him outside of town by four o'clock. Don't be late, because he'll be leaving for a long trip. Oh, we have plenty of time. It's not even three o'clock yet. But, Tim, that's not the real time. The cuckoo clock isn't working, remember? Oh, yeah. The clock over there shows the short hand is at number four and the long hand at number 11. That means when the long hand reaches number 12, it'll be four o'clock. We only have one, two, three, four, five minutes left. Only five minutes to four o'clock? That's not much time. We have to get going now. Quickly, hurry, everyone. Watch out! Oh, no! Ow! Ow! Oh, dear. Sorry about your skateboard, Emil. Hi, friends. Don't worry about it. Oh, no. How much time do we have left? <gasps> we only have one minute to four o'clock. Oh, man. We're never gonna make it in time. Yes, we are. Can we please borrow your skateboard, Emil? Yeah, sure. You need it more than I do. Take it. But it's broken, Paula. Don't worry, Billy. I have an idea. Whoa! Are we there yet? Yes! Woohoo! Finally, we're here! Let's get that gear from Mr. Merchant. I don't see Mr. Merchant anywhere! Oh, dear. We didn't make it in time. Mr. Merchant must have left. Hello, children. You made it just in time. Here's the gear you need. Thank you, Mr. Merchant. Okay. I'm heading off for my trip now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Merchant. Just need to tighten the gear and... There! The cuckoo clock is fixed. Yay! Thanks, Mr. Mechanic. Now we can finally find out what a cuckoo is. <gasps> it's a bird! A cuckoo is a bird! We fixed the clock and learned that a cuckoo is a bird, Paula. That's right, Billy. Number of the day! Eight batteries! Eight cuckoo clocks! Dance with Cal! It's coming out soon! I can hardly wait! What are you doing, Tim? We all know that a cuckoo bird is coming out of the clock. <laughs> I asked Mr. Mechanic to change the cuckoo to something else. I'm excited to see it come out. Oh, what is it, Tim? I want to see it. Me too. Three, Three two, two, one! one. It's a dancing monkey! <laughs> <laughs> Do join us on our next adventure! Huh? Stop right there! You can run, but you can't hide! Huh? I'm gonna catch you! What's going on, Tim? Can we play too? I'm Bowen the Brave. I fight for justice and all mankind. <laughs> I'm trying to save the world. Bowen? Calc and I just watched The Adventures of Bowen the Brave. He's a medieval superhero who fights off bad guys, saves people, and is fearless and strong. <laughs> I want to be just like him. Hey, Numbers, come on over. I'm going to carry all of you to show everyone that I'm strong. Just like Bowen the Brave. 
Show everyone how many numbers I can carry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Are you okay, Tim? I'm good, don't worry. Anyway, Bowen the Brave is not only strong, he's also quick on his feet. Let's show them, Calc. There's this part in the movie where Bowen jumps from one giant lily pad to another to get across a huge river. Come on, follow me. That looks dangerous. I think I'll just watch you. Yeah, me too. See you on the other side, guys. Oops, ow! Are you guys okay? Hey, Paula? Doesn't this look like El Goldrado? <gasps> You're right, Billy. It is El Goldrado. I want to experience Bowen's adventures for real. Can we go, please? Why not? We all know where El Goldrado is, so let's go to the jungle. Whee! This is where ten evil bandits ambush Bowen the Brave. Remember, Calc? Remember? Wow, he must be really strong to fight off ten bandits on his own. That's not all. He can also jump really high and far, like this. Ugh. Wanna try? Um, that looks dangerous. How about we check out those flowers instead? <laughs> when you're a hero, you have no time to look at flowers. There are more important things to do, like saving the day. Hmm. I need to get to a high spot to see the enemies coming. Aha! I'll climb this tree. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. You see nothing yet. I'm going to... Ah! Oh, Tim! <laughs> Jungle boy! Phew! You saved Tim! <laughs> Jungle Boy! <laughs> saved Tim! <laughs> the hero still lands on his feet. Good morning, class. Today, you'll have to figure out which activities are safe to do and which are too dangerous to do. Are you ready? Here's the first activity. Reading a book. Is it safe? Or too dangerous to do. Reading a book is a safe thing to do. That's right, Billy. Next activity. Running with a pair of scissors. Running is safe to do. It's healthy to keep active. That's incorrect, Tim. Running to keep active is healthy. But running with a sharp object like scissors is too dangerous to do. You could hurt yourself or someone else. Next activity, dancing. Dancing is safe to do. Huh? I wasn't finished yet. Dancing. On top of an active volcano. It's definitely too dangerous to do. Sorry, Tim. You got it wrong. Billy is the winner. Congratulations. Bye, Jungle Boy. Look, Paula. It's Mr. Totem Head and Buddy over there. But Bowen the Brave was really here. He discovered El Goldrado and crossed the river to save his people. No, you're wrong. It's just a movie. None of it really happened. But you saw it in the movie, too. He was standing right there where you are. Ah, just leave me alone. Great. Just great. <gasps> Buddy's in trouble. I'll jump on these lily pads just like Bowen did. Hang on, Buddy. I'm coming to save you. <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> Tim! Oh, dear. Jungle Boy! Are you okay, Tim? What were you thinking? 
I just wanted to save Buddy. It's okay. I didn't need help. Why did you jump in the river like that? Well, Bowen the Brave managed to step on those lily pads so easily. What? Not this movie again. I get it. You want to watch a movie and enjoy it. But don't do dangerous stuff. What do you mean? This is how you enjoy a movie and keep yourself safe. Step one, watch and enjoy the movie. Step two, talk about your favorite moments. Step three, if something looks dangerous, don't copy it. That's it. This is how you enjoy a movie and keep yourself safe. Okay, Tim, let's follow Buddy's steps on how to enjoy a movie and keep ourselves safe. Step one, watch and enjoy a movie. Calc and I watched the adventures of Bo and the Brave and it was awesome. I watched it too. It's a great movie. Step two, talk about your favorite moments. My favorite part was when Bowen ate all the bananas to save the entire village. Mine was when Bowen crossed the river by jumping on the giant lily pads. But now I know it doesn't work. Which brings us to step three. If something looks dangerous, don't copy it. Many actions we see in movies are done by professionals trained to do them safely. We shouldn't copy them because we might get hurt. I'm sorry for making you guys worry. Thanks for saving me again, Jungle Boy. <laughs> Jungle Boy, save Tim! We learned how to enjoy movies without copying dangerous actions, Paula. That's right, Billy. Number of the day! Six Toto Hats! Six Lily Pass! Dance with Cal! What are you doing, Tim? I can't copy Bowen's dangerous actions, but I can do something else that he's also very good at. What's that, Tim? Eating a lot. How oh, mm, mm, oh, yummy. You guys want some? <laughs> sure, Tim. Do join us on our next adventure. Teddy Bear is almost falling off a dangerous cliff, Paula. You and Chalky need to save him. Hang on tight, Billy and Teddy Bear. We're on our way. La, la, la. On our way to save Teddy Bear. Help! Save me! Whoa! Help! What's that? Hey, guys! Check out my drone! Isn't it cool? Yeah, it is, Tim. My drone can fly really high and fast. Watch. Whee! Oh, look at it go. Will it be able to save Teddy Bear from falling off the box? I mean, Cliff? Of course. Come on, Calc. We've got a mission to save Teddy Bear from falling off the cliff. Stay calm, Teddy Bear. We're here to rescue you. You saved Teddy Bear, Tim. Not yet. To complete your mission, you need to carry Teddy Bear safely through all the obstacles and land on the pillows over there. Okay, Paula. How many obstacles are there? The numbers can help us count how many obstacles the drone has to avoid. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, everyone, let's count the number of obstacles the drone needs to avoid to bring Teddy Bear to safety. 
light and beeping sounds coming from the TV? I'm not sure, Billy. Let's activate the supercomputer to find out. <laughs> it's time to run the numbers. Hello? Uh, Paula? Guys? Uh, can you hear me? I'm lost in the desert. My phone battery is almost dead. Please help. I'm at the bottom of a... A meal? Hello? Oh, dear. Amil's in trouble. Then we need to rescue him. Okay, guys. We've got a new mission. We need to go to the desert to save Amil. Amil! Amil! Where are you? Can you hear us? Amil! The desert is so big. How are we going to find Amil? Great idea, Chucky. We can get a better view of the place if we're higher up, just like that bird. Look! Cal climbed a tree to get higher up. Do you see a mill from up there, Cal? Oh, man. I guess we need to go even higher. Oh, I have an idea. Did you bring your drone, Tim? Yes, I did. Oh, I know. We can fly Calc up in the air on the drone so he can get a better view of the place. That's right, Tim. Calc, do you see a mill? No? What if we try searching that way? Anything, Calc? <sighs> Nothing, huh? Look out for that tree, Tim. Whoa, that was close. Sorry, Calc. I think Calc wants to go higher. <gasps> Watch out for the bird, Tim. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I can't watch. Calc, are you okay? But it looks like my drone is not okay. <sighs> How are we going to find a mill now? Oh, I know. Let's ask Mr. Mechanic to help us. He's great at fixing things. Hi, Mr. Mechanic. My drone is spoiled. Can you repair it, please? Hello, children. Oh, this looks bad. What happened? Emil is lost in the desert, and we need to save him. We were using Tim's drone to help us find Emil, but it crashed, and now it's spoiled. Don't worry, children. I can fix your drone and help you find Emil. Thank you, Mr. Mechanic. <laughs> Okay, children, I fixed your drone. Ta-da! Now it has a camera and a sensor to make it easier for you to locate your friend in the desert. That's great, Mr. Mechanic. My drone is so much cooler now. Here is your new remote control. Give it a try and see if it works. Hey, I can see us on the screen. That's great, which means Cal doesn't need to go up with the drone anymore. What's that at the bottom of the drone, Mr. Mechanic? Ah, uh, that's a surprise. I'll show you later. Thanks, Mr. Mechanic. Let's go back to the desert to look for Amil. Do you see anything, Tim? Nope, nothing yet. The drone has found something. Is that Amil? Maybe. Let's take a closer look. Oh, nah, it's just a goat. The drone has found something else. Um, I don't see anyone there. Fly it down. Maybe a meal is trapped below. Okay, Mr. Mechanic. <gasps> we found a meal. Is there a way we can ask a meal if he's okay? Sure. Just press a button. Hi, Amel. Are you okay? You guys found me. I'm lost and very thirsty. Oh, dear. We didn't bring any water. 
Ah, I've got that covered. Just press the other button on the control. So that was the surprise underneath the drone. Ah, thank you. So, how do I get out of here? Follow the drone and we'll lead you back out. Hello, Emil. You're safe. Yes, I am so glad to see all of you. Thank you for saving me. You're welcome, Emil. Here, children. These communication devices can help you reach out to each other anytime, anywhere. This is so cool! Thanks, Mr. Mechanic! Oh, nice! Thank you! We saved a mill and got cool new gadgets, Paula. That's right, Billy! Number, Number of, of the day! day. Five, Five obstacles! Help me. Math homework? <laughs> sure, Emil. Do join us on our next adventure. <laughs> 